into our study on devotions of Joseph in Egypt, a wonderful character that is a good example to every saint, and a type of the Lord Jesus Christ. Today we'll be in Genesis chapter 37, where we'll be reading in verse 12 and following. Let's read verse 12, please. And his brethren went to feed the father's flock in Shechem. And Israel said unto Joseph, Do not thy brethren feed the flock in Shechem? Come, and I will send thee unto them. And he, Joseph, said to him, Israel, listen to these words. Here am I. This lesson will be on the willingness of Joseph. He simply said to his father Jacob, Here am I. This is an example of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ to God the Father said, Here am I. Whatever God the Father wanted, that's what God the Son did. Brethren, this is the attitude that we should have in our hearts and lives. Besides this, I would like to talk about Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 and 23. Here we read, in the life of Joseph, we can see the fruits of the Spirit. Paul said, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith. In the life of Joseph, we see a life of faith, as such, in the life of Jesus Christ. Meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. We see these fruits of the Spirit in the life of, life of Joseph. Here am I. Let's read verse 14. And he said to him, Israel, or Jacob, Go, I pray thee, see whether it be well with thy brethren, and well with the flocks, and bring me word again. And so, so he sent him out of the vale of Hebron, and he came to Shechem. Joseph did exactly what his father wanted him to do. He was willing to serve. In Leviticus chapter 1 verse 3 we read this. If his offering be a burnt off sacrifice to the herd, let him offer milk without blemish. He shall offer it of his own voluntary will at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation of the Lord. Brethren, Joseph was willing to offer himself to his father willingly, voluntarily. This is a type of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ willingly offered himself as a sacrifice to the sins of mankind. Because that was the Father's will. The Apostle Paul stated, For if there first be a willing mind, it is accepted according to that a man hath, and according to what he hath not. 2 Corinthians chapter 8 verse 12. My brethren, Man has a free will to either serve God or not serve God. The concept of belief or the doctrine that man does not have a free will or the concept of irresistible grace is foreign to the scriptures. And forgive me, repugnant. Even though his father and his brothers do not understand two dreams that we read about in Genesis chapter 37, verse 5 through 10, 12, 11, 12, Joseph was not discouraged, nor did he have a bitter attitude. Joseph determined to love God, to do the will of God, and have a cheerful attitude. Joseph did not let the world, the pressure of the world, or the attitude of his brothers hurt his relationship with God. Let's read verse 15 through 17, please. And a certain man found him, and behold, he was wandering in the field. And the man asked him, saying, What seekest thou? And he, Joseph, said, I seek my brethren. Let's stop here just for a moment. The brothers, the brethren of Jesus, of Joseph, despised him. But yet Joseph went out of his way to his father's will to seek his brethren. That is the heart, that is the attitude of Jesus Christ. Even though men do not seek God, Jesus Christ seeks them. Even though his own brethren hated him, Jesus Christ still went to the Jew first because of his love and cheerful attitude. As Joseph wandered about trying to find his brethren, 
He did not get discouraged. Verse 16. Tell me, I pray thee, where they feed their flocks. And the man said, They are departing hence, for I heard them say, Let us go to Dothan. And Joseph went out to his brother and found them in Dothan. Joseph kept on searching for his brother. Let's read verse 18, please. And when they, his brothers, or the eleven brothers, saw him afar off, even before he came near them, they conspired against him to slay him. Oh, this is a terrible attitude. Because the brethren did not like his two dreams, they conspired to do evil, to slay him. A few minutes ago, we talked about the fruits of the Spirit. In the life of the brethren, they had the works of the flesh. The Bible says in Galatians chapter 5, verse 19 through 21, Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred. The brethren had hatred in their hearts. Variance, they had variance in their hearts. Emulations, wrath. They had wrath in their hearts. They wanted to slay Joseph. Strife, seditions, heresies, envies. They envied Joseph, just like the fair scribes, fairs, and hypocrites envy Jesus Christ. Murders, drunkenness, revilings, and such like. Of which I tell you before, as I have told you in times past, that they who do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Galatians chapter 5, verse 19 through 21. The brethren had the works of the flesh in their life. Let's reverse. 19, please. And they said one to another, Behold, this dream of common. They are mocking Joseph, just like the people mocked Jesus Christ. Come now, therefore, and let us uh, slay him and cast him into some pit, and we will say some evil beast have devoured him, and we shall see what shall become of his dreams. Scorned him. And Reuben heard it, and he delivered him out of their hand, and said, Let us not kill him. Reuben did not want to kill Joseph. And Reuben said unto them, Shed no blood, but cast him into a pit that is in the wilderness, and they laid no hand upon him, that he might rid him out of their hands to deliver him to his father again. And it came to pass when Joseph was come unto his brother, they stripped Joseph out of his coat. Remember the coat that his father gave him? All the brethren hated him in his coat. And so they stripped the coat off of him. His cord many colors that was on him, and it took him and cast him into a pit, and the pit was empty, where there was no water in it. And as they sat down to eat bread, and lifted up their eyes, and looked, behold, a company of Ishmaelites came from Gilead, with their camels bearing spice and balm and myrrh, going to carry it down to Egypt. Egypt is the type of the world. And Judah said to his brother, Listen to this. What profit is it if we slay our brother and conceal his blood? He was more worried about profit or money than the life of his own brother Joseph. That's really sad when money overrides our sense of righteousness. Come and let us sell unto the Ishmaelites, and let us not our hand be upon him, for he is our brother of our flesh. And his brother were content. And there passed by many ice merchant vents, and they grew up and lifted up Joseph out of the pit, and sold Joseph to the Ishmaelites for 20 pieces of silver. You know, a lot of people sell out Jesus Christ for the silver of this world. A lot of people sell out Jesus Christ to make money, have possessions, and have friends. And they brought Joseph into Egypt. And Reuben returned from the pit, and behold, Joseph was not in the pit, and he rent his clothes. And he returned to his brother and said, The child is not nigh, where shall I go? And they took Joseph's coat and killed the, killed the kid of the goats and dipped the coat in his blood, in the blood. And they sent the coat in many colors and they brought it to the father and said, This have we found, know we whether it be thy son's coat or not. They are trying to deceive Jacob or Israel. Yep. When people walk in the flesh, they deceive by half lies. Innuendos, insinuations, and slander. Anybody listen to my voice, if you're not, if you have a seat in your heart, you need to cleanse it away. And he, Joe, Jacob, knew it and said, It is my son's coat. 
and he will be set the bargain. And Joseph is without doubt written in pieces. And Jacob rent his clothes. Oh, that was an act of complete sorrow in those days. And put sackcloth upon his loins and mourned for his son many days. And all his sons and all his daughters rose up to comfort him, but he refused to be comforted. For he said, For I'll go down to my grave to my son's mourning. Thus his father wept for him. Jacob really loved Joseph. And the Mennonites sold him into Egypt under Potiphar, an officer of the Pharaohs, and captain of the guard. Brethren, even though Joseph was headed by his brothers, stripped of his coat, put in a pit, sold for 20 pieces of silver, to people going to a far country of Egypt. He did not lose his attitude. He still had a love for God. As we continue these devotions, we will see the faith that Joseph had. We'll see the determination that Joseph had. We'll see the love for God that Joseph had. We will see the love that Joseph had for his brothers. We will see Joseph walking in the Spirit of God while other people have the fruits of the flesh. I hope these devotions may be a blessing to your heart and life. I want Joseph to be a blessing to you. I want you to see Jesus Christ through the life of Joseph. And I would like to see you have these attributes of Joseph in your life. We want to thank you very much. If you have a question concerning this passage of Scripture, if you have a comment, maybe there's something you'd like to add to this that would add to the lesson. We'd love to hear your comments. We do hope you subscribe to the YouTube channel. And we'll see you for the next lesson. Thank you.